What's up guys? So we're in Blackpool and we're at the Norbreck Hotel but we've come down to the seafront where the gardens connected to the hotel that date back over 120 years are and we're going to take a walk along here and film and see if we can pick anything up and we'll do a little paranormal on the way and we've brought the Ouija boards so we'll try that too. Yeah. So we're going to take a walk down this spooky sea path <coughs> and show you some of the uh, things that are still here from the times when it was first built this place. Uh, the, the Ouija board under. Right. Okay, so let's take a walk down then. So we'll keep it nice and dark and just see if we can see any orbs coming. Is there any spirit people here please tonight? Would you like to come forward and show yourself on this camera? Did you used to stay here at the Norbrek Hotel? Did you come down to visit this garden area? This garden area is right on the seafront and it dates back to uh, 1900s. Uh, probably even before that, to be fair. Um, so there are a few things to show you along the way. Little castle structures and things. So uh, when we get to the arch door, which is further down, we'll set up and we'll do um, a little bit of paranormal there. So um, I'm just going to do spirit talker and we've got the Ouija board with us tonight and uh, we'll probably run some EVPs because it's nice and quiet down here and we'll just see if we get anything so as we're walking down let's just keep our eyes open for any orbs any sort of spirit lights or mist that might come across the camera sometimes uh, you don't pick it up with your eyes and it's only afterwards when you look back at the footage and stuff that you realise that you've actually caught something. So for people that are out there filming on their phones or, you know, doing this for the first time, uh, always run your footage back on uh, your laptop or your television or whatever when you get home because you can pick things up that you miss when you're actually doing a paranormal. So we're coming up to uh, like a turret castle bit and we'll see if we get any activity around here because there's a lot of old steps going down to the beach that would have been used back in the day by people coming down from the hotel and down to the beach. This is back in the days when people used to take train holidays before um, you know package deal holidays and flights abroad started. People used to take the train to different seaside resorts for holidays. So this place would have been really, really, really popular back then. It's popular now, but now it's all just weekends. What was that then that said? Stay here. Stay here. Okay, right, so let's stay here then. If the Spirit asks us to do something, then we will oblige. Wow. Why did you want us to stay here in particular? Tunnels <coughs> the, uh, under the Narbrek. I'll just show you uh, the Narbrek whilst we're. That's the Narbrek Hotel just in the background up there. It's full of coach parties right now. And it's a bit noisy and a bit rowdy up there, it being a Saturday night, so we've brought it down here so that we can uh, have a little quiet. One of the people who have frequented the Masonic Lodge that's in the secret society. Or were you somebody who died there? Why did you want us to stay here exactly? Why this particular spot? You said stay here. So. Children are playing. All right. Children. Yeah, well, that would be right. Yeah, children would be playing. Because we're right on the beach, more or less. So, yeah, children would be playing right here. And children would play here because it's like a imitation castle. Yeah. So, are there any children spirit people would like to come forward? I mean, I don't know whether this was 
she lives in the car, the, the, garden, the garden part. Yeah, uh, maybe. The place, and this is, I think it was. There's a bit of an entrance to it, I don't know about maybe, that. Yeah. Uh, Do you want to take a walk a bit further up? Because there is like an old ship up here. Is that telling us to stay here again? What does it say? We're really here. So do you think they want us to stay in this particular spot then? You're really here? Okay, so if you're really here, you'll be able to show yourself on camera. So come forward, run along this path now and let us hear your feet. That rumbling is a tram going by, guys. Okay, let's just walk up the path because there's a few little things up here that kids would have played with and, you know, probably adults would have come to have a look at and stuff. If you're here, run towards us. Let's see you on the camera. Let's hear your feet. Do you know, sometimes, even though you can't see anyone, you just feel there's a presence, don't you? I suddenly feel up here. I just felt like there's a presence joined us people. I don't know who exactly, because I, I haven't the ability to pick that up, but... I think sometimes wandering around these dark places at night, you're just picking up anywhere that there's somebody, you're not alone. So some more steps going down to the sea and there's uh, another castle thing coming up here. But we want to get to that arch door down there. But this would have all been uh, like... What did that say then? Fond memories here. Fond memories? Holiday memories? Yeah, so would you like to come forward and tell us who you are? Share the fond memories with us? Tell us about the Norbrek. Can you tell us more about, you know, why you're still here? Why are you still Torch here? shining. No, the one in your hand. Why are you still here? What keeps you here? I was treated well. You were oh, treated, good. You were treated well. That's good. Were you somebody who... I don't know whether this is correct or not, but I've heard that a lot of people who were getting towards the end of their life came and stayed here and... finished off the last days of their life here. Is that what you mean by treated well? Were you one of those people who uh, your life ended here but you wanted to come here so your life ended here? Please take care. Oh we will. Well we're going to venture further on into the darkness so we will take care. But there's an arch door down there and I like to go to that because a lot of people would have passed through that arch door and I got a feeling we might pick up orbs, some spirit activity. So let's go towards and let's see. This would have been the walkway along the seafront for the people that stayed at the Norbrek back in the, those days. And uh, they would have gone down to the beach and there probably was those changing huts, you know, that you could get changed into going into the sea and stuff. There's a huge whale made out of stone. Okay, so this is that arch door. This is the arch door. So this arch door, I think, would have had a lot of people coming through it and I'd be surprised if we don't catch an orb or... If you put the uh, EMF meter on the floor there, perhaps we'll get some activity. I'm going to put the torches on this bench. And then we'll have a look what we get here. We'll try and see what we can... I just want to release this pack. What concern do you have? Do you want to try the uh, Ouija board on here? Yeah. Because we've got a flat table so we can set it up. Put the torches uh, this way around and we'll get the Ouija board going. See if we can get anything. 
yeah, I'll keep an eye on that. And uh, I'll sit at the bench with you. Have you got that other torch there? Just putting it you had a minute ago. No, it's in the pocket. Alright, give me that one and then I've got extra light that I can film. Uh, right, I'll mess her off for light now. So we're going to get the Ouija board out of guys. And let's just see what... Uh, we've set up a EVP, an EMF meter on the floor there. In the doorway there, and uh, we've got the Ouija board here. So let's uh, ask out and see. Well, I'll let Andy do the Ouija board and I'll just film because he always seems Can to get... You see us? We can't see you, no. This is the problem. We want you to be able to come through somehow. Show yourself. Either show yourself in that doorway. Worry. Why are you worried? Because we've got the Ouija board. You don't need to worry about that. We're protected by... We're protected. Keep one eye on the doorway because we've put the EVP and the ear must be on the floor now. Let's see if we get any spirits making contact. Anybody from the Norbrick Hotel? Yes. Anybody here? Who would like to talk to us? Emerge. Yes, we'd like you to emerge, please. Come forward. Keep an eye open there in case we get any orbs or anything. There shouldn't be anybody down here right now, so if we hear any footsteps or anything like that, then it's uh, paranormal. Did you hear us? No, we can't hear you, but if I get the EAVP recorder out, then perhaps we will be able to hear you. Please keep trying to talk to us. I can see how much you're trying. The messages that you're giving us... Anybody here got a message for me? Telling us that you're really, really trying hard. Switch one of the torches off if you can... Uh, we'll keep an eye on the torches too there, guys, because one's blinking a little bit. If that goes off, that'll be just... Uh, well, I think it would be a sign, to be honest. Is there anybody... Is there anybody who wants to... give their name? Sacred ground. Sacred ground. Not to say anything, just need this. So that's all what you want to say. Can you give us your name? That was a bird. Let us rest. Let us rest. Well, we will. But we want you to come forward Let's first and talk name. to us. And then when you've made some kind of communication with us, then we will let you rest. We will put you back to rest then. We just come to talk to you. If there's any spirits here, can you move this to yes? Right, there's the EVP recorder if you need it. Sometimes I find if uh, you know I've got messages on the Ouija, sometimes it's yeah. worth putting this there's on. Any spirits here, and you don't want to talk to us, either go to no or goodbye. Likely. <laughs> Is anybody here connected to the no brick cutting auto? I'm gonna run this anyway, just in case we get anything. Or is there anybody connected to this seafront?
And the only bit who wants to talk to us. Can you tell me how many people are here? If you don't want to talk to us, can you move it to no? Have you noticed it stopped coming through Spirit Talker since you switched, since you started using the Ouija board? You did that before, didn't it, the last time we... wants to talk to us? You just say yes. That torch is nearly gone out there. Just knock it and see if it's, uh, there might be the battery on the way out. Just twist it and make sure it's... That, that's gone like dim on its own now, now unless the battery's ready for churning. Maybe. Is there anybody who wants to talk to us? Just move this planchette. You can move it to yes. You're unable to spell we can actually yes. I like the woods. The woods? Like the woods. There's no woods here. Is there? It's the beach. <laughs> I don't think there's ever been any woods at this part of the world. Alright, I'm going to ask some questions on this. Let's just stop it. Let's start again. We'll keep quiet now and I'll ask some questions on this one. Are there any spirit people here who would like to come through this Ouija board? It's okay, you can talk now. Are you getting a spelling? Sitting. Nothing. Sitting. Can you feel that it's flat under your finger? So perhaps spirit down here don't really want to use this method. No, I'm I keep hearing noises back there. My throat. I'm just going to get up and have a look because I keep hearing like something back there. There's nobody walking along, is there? I don't know why I can hear. I felt like I heard somebody coming then, but there's nobody there. Well, if that's flat, do you want to use Spirit Talker? Get the radio on and try a Spirit Talker. That's not flashed at all, the EMF meter. So there's nothing coming through the doorway. But since you've started using the Ouija board, nobody's coming through Spirit Talker now. Can anybody who wants to start to just move this? But perhaps they don't like the Ouija board. Not everybody likes it. Can you move it to no if you don't want to talk to us? Or can you move it to goodbye? If you don't like me using this board, can you say yes and say it to goodbye? Come through that door, show yourself if you can. Try and put Spectre. one of What did that say? Spectre? Did that say Spectre? Spectre, yeah. Alright, so that's the same as golf's done it, apparition. If you think you can do that, come and manifest. Come and show us some mist. What? Someone coming? There's nobody there. What? Is this your friend coming through the Ouija board again? 
So shut it down because this person's being a nuisance now. And let's just switch to some. Oh, shut it down. When that happens now, just shut it down because don't even entertain he's, he's it. He's not saying anything. No, because he's just he's mischief. Not, not say, saying anything. He's just coming out of the same rubbish every time. So shut it down. He's just not giving anybody else any chance to go through. Do you want to listen to the EVP recorder back, see if we've got anything? Yeah. And then we'll try the spirit box for five or ten minutes before we, uh, the battery goes. Yeah. yeah, I'll just tell the guys. I think we already explained if you've watched uh, any of our other programmes recently. Um, since we did Gawthorpe Hall, Pendle Hill, um, it was the... Priest doesn't want us here. Episode. Since then, and this had this same message coming through the Ouija board. Somebody calling him uh, satanic. Somebody threatening him. You know, all kinds of not very nice messages. And we believe it's uh, a religious person or a priest. And it all started since we did that particular haul. And uh, we think that it's well, Andy feels it's a connection to that. And every time we set the Ouija board up the same message and the same kind of person seems to come through so uh, we're shutting that down and just going to try something else because we are here to contact the spirits of the Norbrek you know we don't want people following us around like that not negative spirits anyway it's not it's, it's not that it's, I'm going to I'd, I'd carry on with it contact me time con speaking through it but it's just not like giving me anything yeah. Listen that back anyway. That you whispering? Yeah, yeah, it's my voice. It's okay, you can talk now. Well, if you'd like to speak into the EVP recorder, we can record your voice. Did you hear something? That said, hear my voice. You can hear my voice, it said. Did you hear something then? Maybe if that said. I keep one eye out up there, you know, because. Joyce. Joyce? That's your mum? That's your mum? <laughs> oh, I've got shivers. Oh, come forward, Joyce, if that's you. Oh, it'll be so nice to have you here. It'll be so nice to have you here. Thank you for coming forward. What are you doing out at this time? Because she always used to come weather. to Blackpool with us, that's why. Yeah. She always used to come to Blackpool with us. I hope you've got your green coat on. Flash the EM EMF meter if you're here. Yeah, it's over there in the doorway. Go and put your handbag down next to it. Let's see it flash. Oh, your head scarf. Yeah, put your head scarf down. It's funny how it's your mum's name, isn't it? Of all the names that could come through, it's your mum's name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's here then. I think when you get like my dad's name or your mum's name or something like that, they're definitely here, the family spirit. Yeah, because it's funny like that. Which is nice, isn't it? Because yeah, they're yeah. just like saying hello. They've got the chance to come through and say hello because we've got the equipment here and stuff. So. Did you want to run the spirit box for the last sort of five no, ten minutes? Alright. Yeah, yeah. yeah, if you want to. Mm. Yeah, yeah so we'll just take a little uh, walk up anyway and just show a little bit more of this place. I'm just gonna run off with the torches. There's still a couple of torches for you there. So let's go through the door guys and we'll see uh, if there's anything on the other side. There's a couple of picnic benches and things and um, 
a little bit more of patio where people would probably sit out and have the lunches and stuff. I keep hearing like a rustling, you know, because there's grass on this side, but it might just be animals and stuff. It might not be anything. But let's take a little walk up here on our own because if it's dark and it's quiet, the possibility we might just pick something up. Would you like to come forward and talk to us, please? Let me hear your voice. Let's just film down the seafront for a little minute and then we'll come back. Because this promenade is very dark, so we've more chance to pick up her little spirit orb. And then we'll go back up to where Andy is. If you're here, come and show yourself on the camera, please. We'd love to see you. We come as friends, we come with the deepest respect for whoever is haunting this promenade. Come and make yourself known, come and say hello. This is your chance to come forward. Were you connected to the Norbrek or are you just a person that used to like walking down this promenade? And he's just up there. We'll go up the steps and come back that way and then we've filmed round and if anybody has wanted to show an orb on camera, they've had the chance to do that. Let's find the steps, There's some steps somewhere here. Here they are. They're there. So anyway, we'll just carry on filming along the promenade till we get to the steps. And if any spirit people at all would like to come forward and make themselves known, I'd be very happy to see or hear you. We like to do ghost investigations and we like to try and communicate with you. And he's got the spirit talker. And if you'd like to communicate through that and talk to him, Alright, the steps are here guys. So these steps are really actually very old, you know. I think they've replaced the actual steps, but the original ones would have been exactly the same place. You know, not a lot of things has changed, they've just replaced and made them safe. Because you know, like today's health and safety is insane. Everything's health and safety today. So, anybody? We're making our way back to the arch door where Andy's got the equipment set up. If you'd like to make yourself known, let us see you or hear you or feel you. <coughs> Pardon me, guys. Okay, so we've done a circular tour of the rock garden and, uh, you know, keep an eye out because Sometimes you can pick things up and sometimes you guys will see stuff we'll probably miss, you know. Did you pick up the EMF meter off the floor? Yeah. I was going to say, I was wondering where it had disappeared. Did you get anything while I was walking around there? Uh, I make noises, accident, jasmine and skirt. Accident? So. The sort of accident? Yeah. Was it an accident in the hotel or was it an accident down here? Or did the accident happen because you were scared? Were you scared of someone or something? Were you scared by a spirit in down here or up at the hotel? Construct. Construct. Was you the talk accident, was the accident, did the accident happen when it was being, there was building work? Yeah, like a construction accident. You know, when, the, when, the, when it was being built, when it was being... Need built. help. You need oh, help. Oh, are you stuck here? If you can tell, what, what help, how can we help you? If you need help, how can we help you? Were you somebody who died when they were turning this into a hotel from a normal house? 
I think it was a castle, weren't it? Like a house, uh, castle-shaped house. Castle or somebody's, somebody's home. And I think this was the original down here. Oh. What did? What year did he die? Had a hard life. You had a hard life. Yeah, I can imagine it would have been a hard life if you were around about that time. So what? What? What year? Or what century did he die? Was it twentieth century? The tub. The tub. Bathtub. The tub. Maybe someone. What drowned in the bathtub or had a heart attack in the bathtub in the hotel because they have reported a few deaths at the Norbrek a dozen at least I've just got, I felt as though somebody pushed me really? I've got a banging head now have you? not just I wonder if someone's giving you symptoms of uh, just, what they were feeling just, yeah more in my eyes oh, okay more in my eyes. I'll, I'll drop these torches a bit in case the light's affecting your no, eyes. It's not, it. it's not that. No, it's not that. It's not, it's not the torch. Perhaps you picked up on uh, a person. It said tub, didn't it? So I'm only thinking bathtub right. because the Norbrek have had about a dozen deaths over the years, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. No, it's not the torches. It's not the torches. Right. Eyes. Eyes. You know, you get that headache in your eyes. Yeah. Perhaps it's a symptom of what something someone had. Uh, you know, maybe like if they had like a brain hemorrhage or something, maybe that would be the symptom, I don't know, to be honest. Okay, you made me feel, you understand. Can you take that off me then? If you, if you could. What happened in the bathtub? Thank you. Could you say it in words rather than affecting Andy? Could you just slightly, as though. Moving me out of the way. Can you tell me what, what how old you how old you are? Uh, and when did Brown you... eyes. Brown eyes. Maybe he's describing himself or she's describing herself. Oh, that's funny, I said uh, pain in my eyes, then Oh I yeah. Eyes. Yeah. Brown Maybe eyes. they're trying to change your eye colour to brown. Brown eyes. You know, like, trance mediums where they come through and try and impose themselves upon you, the features yeah, and what have you. What me? if... It's funny. This person, because they pushed no, behind... No, listen, no. they pushed behind you. Is this not what happens when you're doing trance medium? Yeah. And then they push into you and then they start to try and change your features Do and then know? they change your vocal cord. Do you know... What I had when Smiggles I said it was all somebody was pushing in. Yeah. I thought that. Is that the same feeling? That is now. When I come to think of it now, that is what I was feeling. Maybe. Though, maybe. Can you help? Maybe someone's trying to push into you and get help. As, as though. My face is tightening up. Like your face was changing. It's like. Not, not tight. Changing. Somebody's it's not changed or anything. Okay. No, you don't look any different. But usually mediums yeah, who do like, trance medium. It's like there. Yeah, they're feeling pushing in from behind. Like gone from there. The neck usually. But it's there. Yeah. It feels. So maybe it's like. Not pain, but it feels like. Oh, it's pushing it up. Maybe spirit's trying to get in. It's, so you need to push that back, really, because if you get to cover, which can so easily and quickly happen. Elizabeth. Can you take it off him, please? Elizabeth, it's too much. It's a little it's bit too much, so could you take that easy, off, please? Easy back, Elizabeth. Easy back. Yeah, but I think when you welcome spirits, sometimes I think they do see that as an invitation to use you as a vessel to come through. Trans mediums who can do it properly. Yeah. That they're okay, but if you don't do it, it's a bit dangerous to do. If you've not uh, trained in it, I think I don't. I wouldn't risk it myself. Yeah. We're gonna uh, lose the battery soon anyway, so do you want to come and sit here? And then we'll just. Uh
No, I think. Uh, that. Yeah. I mean, I it, that. that kind of thing, we really need to learn it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you know, we need to. Yeah, I do. Either. <laughs> either. I'm here. Yeah, I think transmedium yeah, is something I that do. needs to be learned properly with people who know what they're doing. So yeah, I think I at some point through this paranormal journey, because we're going up and down the UK and yeah, meeting different people and working with different people, we'll see if we can find someone who can help us out with that transmedium I stuff mean, I, I and teach us how possibly to do it. I don't mind it, it's just that I don't know. I'd like to give it a go. A bit more. But I'd like to be with someone who knows, who, who's well versed in it, do you know what I mean? Not. Um, us try it out on our own in case it goes wrong and we lose control mm. and it can sort of look at the film The Exorcist and things like that it mm -hmm. happened in real life to a little boy and you know me I'll push the boundaries but yeah we always push the boundaries push but I think when I know what I'm doing I do but, think that yeah. Transmedium could be the next step for us yeah. but I do think that we need to meet some people mm. that already do that and mm. learn from them just to keep ourselves safe right. okay and on that night guys <laughs> So once again, we'll say goodnight from the Norbrick Castle Hotel, Blackpool, and we'll see you very soon.